everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of Platform App Builder Certification Series. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the dashboard a bit. Uh, in, in the last episode, I, I talked about reports, different kinds of reports, right? Like a table or report, um, summary or matrix, right? Um, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to uh, put those uh, report into your dashboard. Dashboard is, is pretty uh, easy concept. Uh, it's very, but at the same time, it's a very important concept for you to understand before you go and appear uh, for your platform app builder certification ser uh, certification exam. Um, so uh, the first thing first, you need to log into your network. Uh, if you do not have a by this stage, then, then I'm afraid you're not ready for a builder certification yet because uh, because you need to do hands-on before you apply uh, for certification. Uh, the reason why I'm enforcing this uh, because if you do not know the hand if you do not do hands-on right, you may not understand the challenges you you might face when you are troubleshooting a a certain side of you know certain issues right and. And those troubleshooting steps will be very handy in your certification because certification won't test your, you know, uh, knowledge like, okay, explain to me what does this mean now? It gives you a real life scenario and asks you to figure out, okay, uh, out of all these four options, which one do you think is the best one, right? So if you haven't done hands-on, if you do not understand the concept very well, then I'm afraid you won't pass the certification. I, I know people use thumbs, but think about it is that re really useful like if I hire someone right and if I figure out the person do not know any anything right then I'm afraid I have to let the person go next day because it's no point because it's a waste of your time it's a waste of time of, a, of an organization right because you you lied to get a job which is not fair I mean you know that, that's my perception because you know I mean I I'm I believe in one. Uh, I believe in honesty. I believe that if you if you don't know something, that's fine. I mean, no one knows everything on, on this planet, right? There are a lot of technology. I have no idea about it, right? So yeah, okay. Enough of uh, you know talking. So let's dive in. Uh, so I've logged into my org. So what we're we gonna do? So you're gonna go to uh, this tic tac toe icon, and you're gonna go to uh, dashboard, and um, so we have this dashboard here. Uh, it's a nice looking uh, interface. So we're gonna create a new folder. If you're, so this is a good practice, right? Because if you're gonna create a multiple dashboards, right? Well, dashboard will give you a real time information about, let's say an opportunity or, um, or account or whatever, right? So it's better to uh, put that into a separate folder, right? It's a collection of dashboards if, you, if, if that's what is your business requirement, right? So we're gonna say, new uh new new dashboard right and you can say save so this is a new folder what we created right now we're going to create a new dashboard and we could say new dashboard okay and you go to select folder uh you can create a new dashboard right and create it i mean give a meaningful name whatever you want right it's so it, it makes sense to give a meaningful name. So go to component. And now remember, uh, we created a new report called new opportunity last time. So we're gonna choose this report and add here. Right? And if you wanted to use uh, different uh, charts from the, uh, your chart setting from the report, you can do that. So I, can, I wanted to use the chart setting from the report. If not, you can pick and choose the other one, right? And let me add another one, uh, let's say the copy of, um, so you can say all reports. Let's say I'll choose some other report. Yeah, this one, okay. And I'm gonna use this, right? Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this one, right? Okay, so these two things are, you can drag and drop here if you wanted to arrange it. And then I'm gonna save it. And that's saved. So I'm gonna go to the dashboard here and you're gonna go to this dashboard there you are so your reports are there and you can actually uh, view that right uh, in a maximized way and you can also download the chart if you want you can do that uh, you can subscribe to it if you like right it will email you this uh, report 
and yeah that's a pretty much very basic thing about dashboard right uh so yeah i mean it, it's it's an important topic if you you know you should know and you can refresh to see the data right so, uh, more than once and you'll get a message you can refresh this dashboard you need to understand that you might get asked a question can you refresh it more than a minute i don't know i mean you might get asked so i'm just saying uh so you should know this basic stuff so right and you can see view uh, report new opportunity report you can you can do that as well and it will take you here right and it will give you a more detailed look about the reports right so if you wanted to view this uh this interface and because it will take you to the to the report uh, which you have actually created if you wanted to see the data instead of seeing only the charts then you know then it this option view report that will give you the better uh, drill down information about the report right so that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about today so we got a few more stuff to cover we're going to talk about app builder uh if you're following along uh using um the trailhead then there are um super badges which i would encourage you to do it because it's very important i'm not going to do super badge because i will expect you to practice it and because if i do it then there's no point right because uh my main intention uh, intention uh is to teach you about you know the content and then i would expect you to go and practice by yourself uh the super badge and there is another um uh small section where i ask you to create a lightning uh lightning project we're gonna do a little bit about it so i'm gonna talk about lightning app builder in our next episode and then we're gonna talk about um uh creating a a lightning project a little a small project so that will cover up and then we talk about the mobile part as well so that will cover up our entire certification then i after that i you know if you wanted to do uh, a practice test then i would highly encourage you to check it out uh focus on force they got a pretty uh, nice content there right so that will give you a mix of you know uh a content as well as the practice uh session so yeah, so that being said, greetings and adios from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.